The following protocol describes protein expression using the methylotrophic yeast Pichia pastoris. The preparation of electrocompetent yeast cells and transformation of the vector with the gene of interest into P. pastoris are shown, followed by a yeast DNA purification step to check for proper integration of your gene of interest into the yeast genome. At the end, we will perform the expression of the recombinant protein. Hi, I'm Maria from the laboratory of Stephen Hallam at the Department of Microbiology and Immunology at the University of British Columbia. I'm Marcus, also from the Hallam lab. Today we will show you a procedure to express recombinant proteins in the methylotrophic yeast Pichia pastoris. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study proteins from uncultivated microorganisms where environmental DNA has been extracted and archived in metagenomic libraries. So let's get started. The expression of recombinant proteins in the methylotrophic yeast Pichia pastoris requires cloning your gene of interest in frame in a P. pastoris parent vector. In our experiment, we use the vector P. Pic Z alpha A. This vector contains the AOX1 promoter for tightly regulated methanol-induced expression of the gene of interest, the alpha factor secretion signal for secretion of the recombinant protein, a zeus and resistance gene for selection in both E. coli and Pichia, a C-terminal peptide containing a C-mic epitope, and a polyhistidine tag for detection and purification of the recombinant protein. Prior to transformation, linearize the vector containing your gene of interest by restriction digest. We use the enzyme PME1, but other restriction sites are possible as long as your insert does not contain that restriction site. To obtain sufficient linearized vector DNA, set up 3 to 4 50 microliter restriction digest reactions in separate tubes. After the digest, 